everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create a capsule wardrobe. Before we get started, I just wanna let you know I have created a capsule wardrobe once before. It was for the fall, and I will link that video up above and down below for you to watch. I will be uploading a whole video about my winter capsule wardrobe after it's all completed, so stay tuned for that. This video is basically just how to create a capsule wardrobe in general. So let's go ahead and get started the with the video. first thing that you need to do is decide if you even want to create a capsule wardrobe. Do you want to declutter your clothes? If you have a whole closet, and this went for me before I downsized, I had a whole closet of clothes that I didn't wear probably even, I probably didn't even wear three quarters of them. I had my favorite outfits or I had my favorite pieces of clothing and those were the ones that I just kind of gravitated to all the time. I didn't wanna wear things that were uncomfortable. I didn't wanna wear things that obviously didn't fit. I didn't wanna wear things that I didn't like the color or style. And so I really just gravitated toward the, you know, 10 items that I actually liked. When I decluttered my wardrobe, it really helped with the problem of never have anything to wear. And then I had clothes in a whole bunch of different sizes. And so it was a lot easier once I figured out what I was comfortable in and what fit me. I decided to keep only a few items that I didn't fit in that I actually put away so I wasn't always eyeballing them. And the only reason I kept some of those items was because maybe it was like a black skirt that was super comfortable and even though it didn't quite fit me right now, it used to. And so I didn't wanna get rid of an investment like that. But for all the like t-shirts and pants and just things that I was like, they're either too big or they're way too small and they're not really my favorite anyway, I just decided to get rid of them or give them to Goodwill or sell them because I didn't want to try and have a wardrobe where half of the stuff didn't fit. If you are going to create a capsule wardrobe all in one day, I would advise you to maybe have a couple hours to do this, but I pulled out all of my clothes from my closet and sorted them. I sorted them in piles of, I hate this piece of clothing, I wanna get rid of it. I sorted it into this clothing fits and I kind of like it. And I sorted into, oh my gosh, I just love this piece of item. I'm going to keep it in my wardrobe. So with those piles, I kind of just went through all of my clothes and I had, I think two whole bags of clothes that I took to Goodwill that I was just like, I never even liked this, this never fit, this isn't comfortable. And then I did have some of those maybe clothes. If you've watched my video of how to start becoming a minimalist, I tell you about my piles that I do of like sell and donate, my maybe pile, my yes pile. So that's a great video. I'll link it up above and down below and it definitely will help you also with creating this capsule wardrobe. Now it's good to pick a number of clothes that you want to start with for your wardrobe. You don't wanna to go too incredibly high because then that won't, you'll still just have so many clothes that you won't be able to wear all those outfits in a week anyway. I started with 33 because there's a hashtag for hashtag project 333 and it's actual project that this lady created which is kind of where the whole capsule wardrobe idea came from. And I will put those links down below as well. And it kind of helps you also create a capsule wardrobe. So I started with the number 33. I am I think that I ended up maybe only having maybe 31 pieces of clothing or articles because I don't wear a lot of jewelry and all those items count in your number. But maybe you want to start with something a little larger, maybe 50 items or 75 items. And then after this first time you're creating the capsule wardrobe, and you know, a couple months go by and you're gonna create your next season one, you find out that you didn't wear 20 pieces, then you can always make your number go down further. The number of clothes that you're saying does not count your pajamas, your intimates, your socks, and your workout clothes, as long as you aren't wearing those clothes every day. So I actually have some exercise leggings that are super comfortable and in, I do wear those even when I'm not exercising. So I do count those in my actual wardrobe number because I will wear them with a comfortable sweatshirt or something like that. If you are only wearing those clothes for a workout, then obviously you would need a different outfit for the day so you don't have to count your workout clothes. Or your three piles that you will be sorting your clothes out to, your yes, your no, your maybe. For each piece of clothing, you wanna ask yourself, 
Would you wear it every week? Is it comfortable? Does the color or style look good on you? Does it fit your body perfectly? Now, if your journey right now is losing weight, yes, if you already have some items that you love that don't quite fit, you can definitely keep those in like your maybe pile and just pull them out when you know that you've lost enough to fit into that size, but don't include those in your wardrobe currently right now. You don't want to have that piece of clothing sitting in front of you and kind of mocking you while you're on your weight loss journey. It's just better to count the clothes that you have that fit right now. These are all the questions that I asked myself when I was going through the wardrobe and I, I believe me, they help so much in determining which clothes to keep. Don't forget to do the same sorting with your shoes, your jewelry, and all your accessories. So if you have headbands, if you have hats, anything like that, those are all included in your number. If you're somebody that really loves shoes, that's really up to you if you don't want to downsize them. If you're fine with having your 50 pairs of shoes, then you can make that decision on your own. But think about the money that you could get by selling those shoes or even just the peace of mind of having extra space in your closet for something else that you want to put in your house. Anything like that, those are the decisions that you have to make. When all your clothes are sorted, get rid of the no pile. If your clothes are in good condition, you can save them to sell at a later time if you have that time. But since a lot of my clothes I had already bought at Goodwill or they were worn out, I either threw them away if they had holes and were just too worn or I ended up donating them back to Goodwill for other people that, you know, would fit or like those articles of clothing. If you know anyone that quilts, you can also save some of those articles of clothing and give them to people for scraps. My mom is actually taking all of my old t-shirts and making a t-shirt quilt out of them. Take your yes pile and set it out in front of you. How many pieces of clothing have you saved? If you have way too many articles of clothing in this yes pile, go through it and see if you can prioritize ones that you like the most and put the other ones in the maybe pile. Now you can start setting your clothes out as outfits. Do you have any good solid outfits or do you have too many bottoms and not enough tops? Think about the type of work that you do most days. If you're a stay at home mom, maybe you need a lot of comfy clothing. If you work all the time, maybe you need a lot of professional clothing. I actually wrote a list when I was figuring out my outfits and tried to figure out just what I needed for the type of things that I do every day. Did I have too many bottoms? Did I have too many tops? And I kind of wrote out a list of things that I needed. So I knew that I didn't have like a pair of sneakers that I could just wear if I was running to the grocery store. I had my flats and I had my boots, but I needed something that was a little bit more comfortable and casual. So I wrote on my list that I wanted to invest in a pair of Converse sneakers. I actually did find those at Ross for almost about half price, which was fantastic. And I found out that that really rounded out my wardrobe completely. So if you're going through your wardrobe and you're trying to pair outfits together and you realize that you don't have a black skirt that you can wear with all your different skirts, you know, to change it up professionally, then maybe you want to go out and invest in a good black skirt that fits you and is very comfortable and you know that you would wear all the time. Or if you have way too many jeans, maybe you want to pare down the jeans that you think you would wear or would go with your outfits perfectly. Or maybe you need to go and get some more tops for your bottoms to try and even out some of the outfits. A lot of people, when they're building a capsule wardrobe, they stick, they stick to a color theme. So a lot of them do blacks, whites, grays, you know, neutrals like that. Because I think I look better in burgundies and maybe dark greens and dark blues, I don't always build my wardrobe where it's just black, whites, and grays. For me, it's easier to get different colors in my shirts or my tops and just leave my bottoms, the neutral colors, like have a dark pair of jeans, I have a black pair of jeans, maybe a black pair of leggings. And that way it's really easy for me to just mix and match the outfits. For shoes, I have a black pair of flats, I have a black pair of booties and rain boots, and then I have my navy converses. So really, I can mix and match so many different outfits by having the bottom of me pretty neutral and then changing the color of my tops. Once you've decided what works for you, start hanging your yes clothes and your outfits that you created back in the closet. Now we can move on to the maybe pile and make sure you want to keep those items. Put those items in storage somewhere and maybe once a month, go through them again and see if there's still things that you wanna save or if, especially if they're in a different size, if any of those clothes fit you and you can swap out 
a piece of clothing that you've like grown out of or lost weight for and swap out the piece of clothing that actually fits now. I set a rule that if I have not worn the piece of clothing that was in my maybe pile for three months, then I decide that I probably don't like it as much and I don't need it in my wardrobe. So then I go ahead and get rid of that as well. For your wardrobe, it does not need to stay the same for every season. If you have gone a month and you created your capsule wardrobe and after that month you've realized there has been three shirts that you just still haven't worn, go ahead and get rid of those or switch them out for something else you've really been wanting. If you need a new jacket, switch out one of your shirts that you don't wear for a new jacket. But the point is, is you don't wanna always buy new clothes and make your wardrobe bigger. You wanna keep it kind of around the same number and that way if you get tired of something, you can switch it out for something that's brand new. If you find that you're missing something from your wardrobe that you would need, it's best to start looking at Goodwill. If you live in a great area, sometimes you can find amazing articles of clothing that are name brand and you can find them for cheap at Goodwill or start checking some sales. Like since I needed the Converse, I didn't just go out to the website and buy Converse. Although if that's who you are, you can do that. I tried to find the exact sales so that way I could get it cheaper. And I do that with my clothes as well. I don't go out and buy something unless I absolutely need it the next day. I wait until I find something on sale or I wait until I find something that I really, really love. And that way you're not just always buying and adding to your wardrobe and then finding out later that you didn't really need it or it actually didn't fit the way you wanted it to. It really saves time and money and space. Now that you have finished decluttering your clothes and you have a wardrobe full of outfits that you love, now you can enjoy it for the next three months. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. I will be posting a video for my winter capsule wardrobe that I am creating for this season. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.